Okay, today we're going to learn about solving multiple step equations. This is page 12 in your notes packet. So the d steps for solving a multiple step equation is going to be the same as we did the other ones. We always start by distributing, then combine like terms, then add or subtract terms over, and your last step should always be to divide. So let's do a couple of them together. So the first one, I see there's a 3 in front, so that means I need to distribute. So your first step should be 15 minus 3x equals 12. We want to get x's on one side of everything else on the other. So subtract the negative 15 from both sides. Make sure you keep the sign in front of the negative 3x. Last step is always divide by the number in front of the x, which is negative 3. So I get x equals 1. Try the next one. Same type of problem. Distribute that 2. So 6x plus 8 equals 8. I want x's on one side, everything else on the other, so minus 8, minus 8, 6x equals 0. Last step, divide by the number in front of x, which is 6, so x equals 0. Next one, same thing. So I have negative 16x. Be careful, notice the negative 2 and the negative 3 becomes a positive 6 plus 2x equals 34. Now notice in this problem, after we distribute, the next thing is combine like terms. I notice those x's are like terms, so when I combine them, I get negative 14x plus 6 equals 34. And then from here, same thing we did before. x is on one side, everything else on the other, so I'm going to move the 6 by subtracting 6. Negative 14x equals 28. Last step is always divide by the number in front of x, and you should get x equals negative 2. Okay, now let's try a problem that has x's on both sides. So on number 4, notice that you have x's on both sides, So, but go through your steps. There's nothing to distribute. I don't have like terms on either side. Now go ahead and let's move all the x's to one side. It doesn't matter which side you move the x's to. I'm going to move this x. So I'm going to subtract the x. So I have 2 equals 1x, or just x, and you're done. Okay, the next one, same thing. Nothing to distribute. I don't see like terms to combine yet. I'm going to go ahead and move the x's. Let's say I'm going to move the x's to the other this side this time. So I'm going to subtract the 8x. I end up with negative 2x plus 3 equals negative 21. X is on one side, everything else on the other, so I need to move that 3, minus 3. Negative 2x equals negative 24. Last step is always divide by the number in front of the x, and you should get positive 12 as your answer. Now what I would do at this point is pause the video, and you try number 6 and 7 and 8 on your own right now, and then come back to check your answer. So pause it right now. Okay, let's see how you did on number six, seven, and eight. For number six, your solution should be c equals negative two. So you can look at my steps. 2c minus 12 equals 9c plus two. Okay, number seven, you should get x equals zero. Check the first step. This is where people always make the mistake. You have to distribute a negative one here. So your first step should be 14 minus 2x minus 5 equals negative 5x plus 9. And then notice the 14 and the negative 5, you always take the sign in front of it, are like terms. So when I combine it, that's how I get to 9. And then go ahead and move your x's, etc. Okay. Lastly, number 8, same thing. Start by distributing the 1 fifth. I get 4x minus 5 equals x plus 4. X is on one side, everything else on the other. You should get X equals 3 as your answer. Okay, now we're going to finish with two last problems, which are special cases. Let's look at number 9. Okay, I don't have anything to distribute. I'm going to go ahead and move the X's by subtracting the X's from both sides. If I do that, notice that both of the X's disappear. All you're left with is 3 equals negative 6. If you end up with a problem like this where you do not have any variables left in the problem, but you have two numbers equal to each other, it is a special case and your answer will either be no solution or all real numbers. To figure out which one it is, if the two numbers are equal, then your answer is all real numbers. 
If the two numbers are different, then your answer is no solution. Or you can use this symbol, circle with a, like a sort of a diagonal line through it. It means the same thing. What this is saying is there is no number you could plug in for x to make these two equation, this equation equal to each other, the two sides be equal. Now let's try the next one. Number 10, I noticed there is something to distribute, so distribute the 3. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and subtract the x's. Again, same thing happens. The x's disappear, but this time I end up with two numbers that are the same. So if they are the same numbers, then the solution is all real numbers, or the shortcut symbol for that is a capital R with another line through it. What this is saying is you can plug in any number for x and it will make both sides of the um, equations equal.